Lately, I have been experimenting with creating a 3D terrain map with global coverage, but I wanted to do it entirely with open source tool and freely available dataset. During my search, I came across the Map Libre Terrain 3D Terrain tutorial. It was really well made, but there was one big catch. The data source wasn't quite what I need. Of course, there are commercial options out there. MapTiler and Mapbox both provide the amazing global 3D terrain coverage, but that got me thinking. Is there a truly free global coverage terrain data set available? The good news is yes, there is. So in this video, I'll walk you through all the free and open options for building your own 3D global terrain map step by step. Let's dive in. All right, so but the, before starting the tutorial, I want to show you what are the actual benefit of 3D terrain map. So basically it can be used in multiple purpose. For example, first one is like, for example, hiking and out, outdoor exploration. Basically, we can visualize the elevation and slope before eating the trail. And also it can be very useful for the route planning. For example, if you are planning to travel in completely new route, uh, then the terrain difficulty and gradient might be helpful. So you can know it beforehand. And also it can be useful for the urban planning and architecture work. And basically, um, if you want to understand the topography for the construction and design project, so it, it might be helpful. And also it can be helpful for the environmental studies, for example, analyzing landforms, water set and natural hazard in realistic 3D. And also it can be very useful for the data visualization, basically uh, just to like bring the map to the life or making geographic data more intuitive and engaging. So now let's get start with the tutorial. All right, so just to start with this project, so I created this index.html file with title is global 3D terrain map. And then also I added the map Libra GLJS file uh, via CDN link, which is 5.8.0 and 5.8.0 version of CSS and JS file. And this div is for configuring my map. And then this API key uh, JS is for like storing API key. If you try, you want to like follow the map box or map Tyler option, otherwise it's completely optional. You can comment out if you are also searching for the fully open source solution. And this app.js for storing our uh, actual mapping configuration via map Libra. All right, so in the style.css, so I have body with margin zero and padding zero. And then with for map, uh, I have height of 100 vertical height. That means in full screen width of 100 BW. So it's also like elongated in full width. So yeah, now let's write the actual code. Uh, here we have to create the uh, map variable with new map libra glgs and then uh, the our container will be map and then for now let's set the center to the 0 and 20 starting position longitude and latitude and then zoom lever of 2 that means uh, it's it's still in the global coverage and then pitch 0 and bearing 0 so these two options are for the 3d mapping so just keep it like this for now and then if we um, if we like open our live server then we can see uh, by default it will load the map libre map like this and then now we can configure and add whatever layer we want uh, via like this style thing uh, yeah but for now let's keep it like this and maybe i'll set the uh, set map projection to globe just to like see uh, the map maybe instead of like 
okay map dot set projection to globe so if we see that then we might okay it's not implemented um i think the correct way is uh, just to like uh, see whether our style is loaded or not and if the style is loaded then we can set map dot set projection and then not name it should be type type equal to globe and then if we save it so now it should render properly so yeah this is our global view of like map library map right but still it's just the uh map with uh country boundary there is like no data here i mean there is no satellite map there is no terrain surface so we can add that later all right so now in order to add our satellite map with like 3d terrain we need to replace this uh, style url so in order to do that simply i'm going to comment out previous style and then i'm going to add this line of code and then i'm going to explain what it means so basically in the style we can configure our own style instead of like using demo tiles from map library uh, so basically here i'm adding the tile so maybe i can turn this off the tile with like sentinel 2 so this is the freely available tile provided by uh, sentinel 2 cloudless uh, this service and I found this while searching on internet. You can also use this is the completely free tiles. And then uh, for now tile size is 256. And then uh, maybe you can add the attribution. Sorry, I added the wrong attribution. So this would be like EOX Sentinel 2 uh, attribution, right? And this is for the satellite mapping. And then for the terrain map. So we call it as raster dam. And then it's free uh, using S3 Amazon uh, Terium service. So basically, if you search for uh, you can search for Amazon Terium 3D tiles terrain, sorry, um, and then uh, you will land in this marketplace service uh, with Amazon Sust sustainability data provider so basically uh I'm, I'm using this service and then uh, this service to like get the 3 3d terrain dam right uh and yeah a, a, the encoding method is terrium um, and then also our tile size is 256 by 256 and then you can adjust this ma maximum zoom level thing and then this attribution is aws terrain tile and then in the layer uh, properties so uh, we have layer one layer uh, which is satellite map right uh, with this tiling uh, feature and then uh, it's the type of raster type and then source is satellite map and for the terrain actually we have terrain source and then uh, for now i'm adding exaggeration of 1.1 you can fix uh, it whatever you want and then if you want the default one it might be 1.0 and uh, this is the terrain source i'm using right if you like save this then your completely open source freely available 3d terrain map look like this and then of course we can go to some location where uh, you can uh, see the terrain and then try to see how it's working for example these are the like terrain surface from nepal and then if you like tilt your map by clicking like right um right button in your map and then you can like simply drag uh, to like see the 3d map right and also let's maybe let's go to some some of the like uh, snow area snow covered area of course you can clearly see uh, this is the train terrain right and then maybe um i can check by like going to the different place uh for example let's uh, let's go to somewhere here uh not here maybe here uh in the canada region and then uh we can see whether we can whether or not we can like view the terrain right and then uh it's clear that we can 
easily see the terrain for example you might also like notice this kind of like uh, some of the data uh, issue uh, this is because I think I'm using the freely available data and it, it might not be the perfect one. Um, this is from the DEM. I, I think it's from Amazon Terium data source. But yeah, for most of the location, it will work great. And I realized that I might also need to add the like uh, zoom in, zoom out button and those some of the control button. So that's what I'm going to add next, add in next. All right, so these are some of the control button. For example, this is for navigation control, um, and then this is scale control and full screen control. And then in order to like to all on and off the terrain surface, we have this control. And then if I save it, now I can see those button over here. Of course, uh, this is for full uh, view. And then this is for like, for example, if I modify my map to, I mean, change the direction of my map then i can easily switch back to north up and then this is for the uh, terrain uh, toggle on and off button all right so that's all about like open source implementation but if you are still interested uh, to like solve the problem i mean uh, solve the problem with uh, the actual dame data set uh, that i showed earlier so if you want to solve those issue you need better data set right uh, the better data set as i said before those come from the commercial services uh, please note that uh, i'm i i'm not getting any sponsorship from map tyler uh, uh, neither from mapbox but just trying to show you like how it works so basically in map tyler of course uh, you can log in and then you can get the api key for me, um, I have the API key and then I added that inside api-key.js file. If you want to use one of these uh, things, then uh, you probably need to add your API key here, uh, either from Map Tyler or from Mapbox. Uh, I think they both provide a free rendering for certain requests. So maybe, yeah, you, you will get some uh, free feature just for the demo purpose. Maybe for the commercial uh, purpose, you might need to pay extra. And if you have the key set up here, then uh, all you need to do is uh, definitely toggle on your uh, option. For example, if I want my map tiler uh, tiles, so then I, I need the map tiler uh, satellite imagery using this uh, link and then maybe i'll also fix my attribution and then for the map tiler i'll choose map tiler and attribution to the map tiler and if i save it uh, uh you'll see the map tiler map in here so basically this this satellite map is from map tiler and then this terrain surface is also from map tiler so it looks a little bit more cleaner and i think uh, it's it's a little bit high resolution as well because sentinel 2 was the 10 meter resolution and i i think the satellite imagery used here is more than uh, i mean uh, more high resolution than that sentinel 2 all right so yeah these are the terrain i think it it looks very clean and clear of course uh, if you want this then you need to pay and and the thing is like also we can try the uh, map box terrain for example this is the map box one and then um, maybe i'll switch this raster tile uh, from map box uh, somehow I have the data set from terrain source, but maybe I can mix that map box option with the ArcGIS one. So please note that this ArcGIS uh, world map, uh, imagery world map is also free. And then when I check the uh, copyright policy, it's free for the uh, demo purpose or free for the ArcGIS online users not for others so but there is no restriction uh, you don't need api key or anything just to like visualize this map and then 
for example i can switch to the map box one and then um, if i check so this is the satellite map from like um, arcgis online i mean arcgis service and then this terrain uh sorry why it's broken okay this oh looks like okay it's loading the new image so this terrain is from Mapbox and then it's also good. Uh, yeah, so this satellite image is from um, ArcGIS Online, I mean Isri, uh, but the terrain is from the uh, Mapbox and it also look good. And then uh, in this data set, I, I don't think you will get those kind of issue that I showed earlier. And yeah, that's all about uh, this today's tutorial. Of course, uh, I'll upload this uh, the same line of code with like all the sources uh, in GitHub, and then you can get the exact same code. Uh, you you don't need to like search uh, for uh, like day spend days to try to find the data set and try to find the option. Uh, you already have this option. And then if you want if you want to go with fully open source please use Sentinel-2 with the uh, Terium uh, DEM from Amazon. Uh, if you want to go commercial, then of course you have Map Tyler and Mapbox option. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.